Hey guys, Jeff Allen off the gridiron. Well, today I'm just going to do a quick review. I've always wondered which saw I would prefer to take on a long trip. The Silky Big Boy 2000 or the Boreal 21 from Gawa Canyon. Stick around and I'll show you my thoughts on these two saws. Hi guys, welcome back. Jeff Allen off the gridiron. At first glance, they're uh, obviously collapsed. The uh, Silky Big Boy is a little, little shorter. It has a hole for a lanyard if you want it hanging off your, your pack. And the Gawa Canyon closed up is a little, little longer. But uh, what I like about these saws is they're both compact and both fit nicely into any pack. The Boreal 21 works on the push stroke, Silky Big Boy 2000 on the pull stroke, and I just wanted to cut a little bit of firewood today and determine which of those two types of saws or those two motions I prefer better. The Silky Big Boy opens with a depression of the lever, and then those two notches, it clicks into one or two different positions, depending on your, your preference. The Boreal, Boreal 21 works much the same in terms of levering opening and it folds back on itself here. This handle sliding in a groove like so and then with a very kind of taut push you can feel the pressure it snaps into place and now it's bound ready for ready for action. I don't have the stats right here in front of me, but one of the things I, I do recognize is that open, the uh, the big boy in the silky is much longer. So you would be able to reach up perhaps to higher, higher branches where you couldn't with this. The second advantage of the silky saw is that no matter what the size or the diameter of the log, you would be able to accommodate it. Whereas this one, the, uh, the bow saw style, you are kind of subject to be able to cut wood with with that um, that depth if you're sawing right through it, which is not always what you need to do, but it's something to be aware of. We're gonna move the camera now and try it on a little bit of hardwood. So this is some dead, dead maple, and uh, we're just gonna see what it feels like. Obviously, this is not the, the best, best setup to, to run these tests, but we're gonna just see what mechanically what it feels like. So this is the Boreal 21. It acts on the push stroke, and the, the pull stroke kind of clears the uh, clears the groove. That reach through method is very, uh, very safe, very practical. Um, with this environment, I like to be able to hold the log well away from my hand, and this way I can see what the saw blade is doing. narrow blade it does want to wander sometimes but that all is dependent on the, the tension on the blade and the angle of your first cut. Okay now we're gonna, gonna try the Silky Big Boy 2000. This is a different type of saw this is a pull saw so you really need that, that clearance behind you to pull all the way through and get a good good length of stroke. Cut 
cuts very smooth, very nice. You have to remember though, on the push stroke, that the saw doesn't bind. Pull, pull stroke only, and then a very gentle push and reset. There's no need to provide much downward effort. It, uh, Both saws are ambidextrous, that means you can use it with either hand. The, uh, the one thing with this saw is you, you uh, until you get started, there's a chance that it can jump. You have to be very cautious with that. Just there you saw the saw want to flex a little bit. Start off, make sure I'm not cutting through the knot to start with. Both saws are very, very sharp. Both have equally aggressive teeth, they're, they're just different. Silky Big Boy, one of the things I like is it can be deployed one single-handedly. If you press the lever and you fling it kind of down and away, it can lock into place. This one, there's no way I don't think you can do it with, uh, with one hand. So let's close it up. Cam's open, comes back on itself, in the track, and closes. So out of the pack, if I had to, See if you can do it one handed. There you go, so it can. They both can be deployed and assembled single handedly. I don't know if we can re reverse the process. It's a little trickier. You have to cam it open. But let's uh, has to align back into its groove and the two, ha two uh, the handles close together. I know with this one though, with use, that uh, becomes a little loose, that connection. Obviously the silky is fairly easy to, uh, to close single-handedly if you're hanging on to something else. And uh, both of them, I'm not sure about the uh, Oriole 21. But the Silky Big Boy, I believe they also come with sheaths, so you may have your own own sheath to carry it. So that could be one advantage. Uh, one other advantage is that being a 90 degree spine in a pinch, if you had to use this, you could use it on a ferrule rod. Uh, that long edge, also very sharp, would be perhaps really good for scraping, scraping hides. If you ever had... Uh, uh, kind of a skinning beam set up, a uh, makeshift skinning beam uh, or uh, a scraper in the uh, in the wild. Either, both of them are quite safe. The uh, teeth are all stored away in the handle. But uh, yeah, tough uh, tough decisions for, for sure. But uh, I'm sure you'll make the right one uh, moving forward. Well, given the option of uh, using either saw, I... Uh, I'm really in a stalemate for uh, for answers. I like that this one has the uh, the size and uh, the collapsibility. I like the ability to, to push on the saw using different muscles of the body. This one's limited to just pull stroke. I think they each have their own place um, in your kit. Certainly the, the blades are a little more readily available on the Boreal 21 should you ever break a blade. You can have blades on hand and replace it in the field. The Silky Big Boy, that's one drawback. If you ever were to get a bend in your blade, or, uh, or certainly snap it, uh, you're, you're left trying to contact Silky to get a new, new saw blade. So for that reason, that's, uh, that may be a real plus for the Boreal 21. I do love the, uh, the pull stroke capability of this, and also the reach to be able to reach up and uh, cut off limbs as well. 
blade length is comparable with the boreal a little longer. So I think it comes down to personal preference, whether you, uh, you, you're more comfortable on the draw stroke or a, a common saw push stroke movement. But uh, either way, they're, they're both uh, very, very high-end saws and uh, probably comparable in price. I think the Silky runs between $60 and $80 uh, Canadian and uh, perhaps, uh, certainly that much, I believe, perhaps more for the Boreal, Boreal 21. And to dis, uh, disassemble it, you just undo the handle. It's a very camming action. This swings all the way around and carefully gets stored safely back in the handle. <clears throat> Boreal does make a bit of a, 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 a rattle with that loose blade inside, uh, if that's an issue, but uh, beyond that, they, uh, they do collapse down fairly well. You're just limited to the length based on the saw blade length. Well guys, thanks for joining me on this quick uh, review of the Silky Big Boy 2000 and the Boreal 21 Agawa Country. Uh, I'm really at a standstill, like I said. I don't know. I think each has its own place. Uh, I don't think I would take both on a trip, but um, I have used the Big Boy uh, a little longer than I have the uh, Boreal 21. Uh, for that reason, this one currently is my, uh, my go-to blade. But certainly uh, the idea of being able to uh, perhaps store extra blades or change the blades in the field would uh, perhaps give the Boreal 21 an advantage in that regard. But uh, they're both very, uh, very special blades. I'm not sponsored by either one. But uh, hopefully you have, uh, have one similar. And I just wanted to share those pros and cons with you about each of these, uh, each of these saws rather. Jeff Allen off the of Gridiron. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share. And uh, enjoy your outdoors, eh? Take care. We'll see you around.